This clip is brought to you by Black In terms of who's saying, you know, how do you personally want his legacy to be, you know, especially in terms of hip hop? Do you think, and you know, do you think he gets enough, I don't want to say validation because often we hear people giving a lot of rappers that have passed their flowers and stuff like that. And um, I believe, um, you know, who's saying, he gets his portion of flowers and stuff as well, but I do feel as though when people mention, you know, rappers and stuff in the game, there's some names that sometimes they do leave out and stuff as well. I can't say if it's purposeful or if it's just um, out of ignorance. So, I mean, you personally, how do you want his legacy to be defined? Yeah, you're right. It does get like, I mean, it's no, it's no, it's no, it's no, it's no hiding it. There, you know what I'm saying? Like, but see, ever since Pop died, we always had this kind of like black cloud. Like we've been blackballed by the industry. You know what I'm saying? Like we can't. Like when Fatal died, like this is why I have, I have like before then I like kind of was iffy about that nigga Funk Master Flex. You know what I'm saying? I was iffy about that nigga, but. After that, yo, like when when I got motherfuckers in my inbox, when I'm going through something right now, like when it talks to me about how they they're going through something right now because they called up to a radio station a hundred fucking times and told them to play some fatal Hussein because this nigga just died and you won't do it because you feel some type of way. Like, yeah, my brother didn't get his flowers when he died properly. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I definitely want his legacy to be be remember for what it really was and 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 he's the type of he he's the type of artist that you know there was songs that like this this legendary songs this, he's on a song with dmx fucking ja Rule, um the locks um fucking mike geronimo yo they took him off the verse when the song made the radio like when i the only time I heard that song on Hot 97, my brother's verse wasn't on it, bro. Wow. And, so it, it, and that's the thing. That's the thing that always, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot, yo. It's a lot of tracks that are out that motherfuckers is replacing this nigga on, on verses. Like, it's whole verses that, that the world is missing. If y'all really ain't digging in your history or y'all only hearing these shits when they come on, y'all wouldn't know a fatal Hussein was on that shit and went crazy on that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, memorable bars that I could walk around and spit out this motherfucker day. Like, that shit is crazy. So, me, I just want to get his story told and bring awareness, because when you bring awareness, once I put his story out there, it's there forever. It's there forever, you know what I'm saying? So, when you see that shit, you, you're gonna want to run back and find out who's this man. And then when you go do your history, like everybody does their history nowadays, you get up on that YouTube and start doing your history in Google, you gonna find out like, oh shit, yo, oh word, damn. Yeah. And once we t once we bring this movie to you, they like this is this is gonna blow your mind. It's gonna blow your mind. It's gonna blow your mind. One of the greatest stories that never told. One of the greatest stories never told. And often that's how it is with the realest ones. Sometimes, you know, their story, people want to try and hide it and um, isn't told to the same capacity as others. You know, they want to sweep things under the rug. You know, you mentioned Funk Flex and stuff as well. Definitely he's been um, called out for his, um, I guess, selective and questionable tactics and often bias and stuff as well. So, um, you know. Yeah, I, yeah, and I heard the little the little wag ass apology. I wasn't feeling that shit. Like, I feel like I don't know. It's more than an apology, nigga. It's more than an apology because you 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 say you said sorry, pop. You know what I'm saying right, but the right. I don't feel like the right nigga checked you. I don't think you brought the right nigga up there to check you. No disrespect to the little homie. Shout out to the little homie for even having balls to even, you know what I'm saying, get your, get your moment on a flex platform and say that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas don't got enough balls to say that. And y'all niggas listen to Pop. Y'all, the reason y'all y'all rap is because of Pop. And y'all ain't got enough balls to tell that nigga that because he, he'll cancel your ass out. You know what I'm saying? 
man. So I respect that, but that wasn't the nigga that G-checked them nigga about that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't the person that G-checked him about it. So I, I wasn't feeling that apology. So I still feel like, and then after the fact, you still don't like show no type of love. You know, you know, uh, I ain't seen it. I, I will, I will like speak honestly. The nigga's been doing better. He's been, he's been trying to, after he's been called out, he's been bringing New York radio back. It's starting to sound like New York again. I will say that, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, but I don't, you know what I'm saying? Fuck yeah. that nigga other than that. You know what I'm saying? I stand on I stand on my brother's business, man. If it was for like 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 my brother used to say, no rubbing shoulders with my dead homies enemies. Like, like there's none of that. There's none of that. And Flex gotta fight me before I, I talk good about Flex on here and tell you I fuck with that nigga. I mean that's just you know what I'm saying? We gotta fight. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, definitely <laughs> um you know, akin just like you brother, man, because that's one thing that everybody respected and loved about Fatal was just that stance that he took. You know, especially all the Tupac fans, you know, they they loved and appreciated and respected that he he stayed down, you know, and loyal to, to Pac, you know, all the way through. And even sometimes, even to what he said, even in some of his interviews at his own detriment because of his own loyalty and stuff, they ended up taking him off albums. They, kept, they did other stuff, you know, just as you mentioned, like the blackballing and stuff like that. We do know, and it's been documented that, some West Coast artists, not just West Coast artists, obviously the Outlaws as well, and other artists that were closely affiliated with Tupac were sort of shunned in the industry to a degree afterwards when Pac passed and stuff, and uh, things were a bit more difficult in terms of the industry and stuff like that. So, um, you know, we're glad that he was able to still progress and move forward, you know, putting together Funk Entertainment. Peace, family. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and check us out on aboutthatonline.com. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook for exclusive playlists and social media for all different types of segments and content.